Hello Year 9, um, welcome to the GCSE RS presentation for the curriculum choices for 2024. Um, Mrs Macpherson here, throughout the presentation I'm going to take you through um, some of the key information that you might want to be aware of in thinking about making your choices for next year and what you might want to consider about uh, choosing GCSE religious studies. So a key part of thinking about making your choices for GCSE RS is thinking about um, what is important to study RS actually. And so I've included here the Coombe Dean curriculum statement because I think this gives you a lot of information that you may want to consider when making this choice. So religious studies involves the exploration of a wide ranging topics and their effect on the human race. So we explore the beliefs held by a variety of people and how these beliefs impact on the daily lives of different communities. Now that may be the community that you study within at Coombe Dean but it also applies to the wider experiences like the city at, that you um, are live in but also the global community that hopefully you will explore and travel to as you um, get older and grow up and, and hopefully maybe work abroad and have experiences of studying abroad and, and travelling. So the experiences common to most of us are are visited origins of practices are investigated so that's different religious practices and also the influences um, that those practices have on behavior they are identified and we look at the benefits that that can give to different individuals and communities and they are celebrated uh, why humans behave as they do and the consequences of decisions made in daily lives are absolutely at the heart of our lessons so if that sounds like something that you think, uh, that sounds quite interesting to me. I'm quite into looking at why humans behave the way they do, why people have the beliefs that they do, why people make the decisions that they do within life. Then this absolutely sounds like a great course for you. Uh, so religious studies at GCSE looks in detail at the beliefs, teachings and practices of um, or, a number of religions but mainly we focus on um, Christianity and then there will be the option to choose either Islam or Sikhism as a second religion but we also do look at um, non-religious belief systems as well. So these are then applied to a variety of topics and uh, topics such as what do religious communities teach about these topics and how do religious believers interpret holy texts in the context of topics. Now, as a group of students within GCSE RS, you would be encouraged to question um, and explore, investigate and compare each of the topics that we look at. And I'll, I'll go through the, the names of these topics further on in the presentation. So a little bit from me really then as to why do students choose to study GCSE RS? Well, actually the students who choose to take GCSE are usually quite enthusiastic, open-minded and passionate about learning more about the wider world. Um, they're also interested about learning of different cultures and various religions and their ways of life and how um, religions and beliefs can impact on the way people decide to live their lives and, and the way that they might behave within society and the way they um, their religion and their non-religious belief systems might um, encourage them to make ethical decisions, for example. Um, another reason why they choose to study RS is that actually they might have an interest in learning about some of the themes that we teach. Uh, and those themes are relationships and families, uh, religion and life, uh, the existence of God and revelation, uh, crime and punishment and peace, war and conflict. Now, they are four of the themes that we run through in depth as well as the religious uh, beliefs and practices. So students who take GCSE RS often aspire to further their knowledge at a post-16 level by studying religious studies qualification at A-level and beyond that, sometimes even at university A level. Uh, level. So it might be helpful for you to have a look at some of the possible career paths uh, that people will go and explore after studying GCSE or A-level religious studies. Now, really, you might be looking at this list and thinking that's a very broad list. And the reality is that actually anything that requires you to work with people is the sort of um, <clears throat> job that lends itself well to GCSE or A-level RS studies. 
So you, that, the reason being is you learn about the diversity and the difference and you understand the complexity of human nature and basically the impact of belief on, on the human condition. So, for example, um, careers like police, community outreach coordinator, teacher, anybody who works in the NHS, um, counsellors, childcare workers, politicians and many, many more. Um, are all great examples of those jobs that actually require an understanding of diversity, an understanding of difference, and an, an understanding of human nature. So on the previous slide, I outlined some of the possible career um, choices to follow after studying um, religious studies. Now, on the screen in front of you, you'll see a range of those uh, career prospects that I outlined and, and their job titles, but I've also put their, their average salary. Now, that means how much on average uh, someone with that job would earn in a year. And you can see there's a real range there, um, starting with some lower salaries, going up to some really quite substantial higher salaries uh, and some of you will be looking at that and thinking wow that looks quite exciting and again this is just there to give you a bit of information really but also for you to think well that surprises me that um, something like GCSE RS might be an interesting qualification to lead you into becoming a lawyer and help you along that path and actually the reality is that as we mentioned in the previous slide anything that gives you an understanding of people and and difference and diversity and uh, empathy skills etc are really going to be useful for any of the jobs that you see on the screen in front of you so to give you a bit of information about the topics that we study at GCSE RS, um, I've put on the screen in front of you a breakdown of what you will study over the two years, but also how you will be assessed. Now, we follow the AQA exam board at GCSE level and within this course, uh, at the, well, at the end of the course that you will sit two exam papers and um, that will determine your grade, but they also determine the, the topics that you follow. Now, paper one is a paper where you will study the beliefs, teachings and practices of each religion that you look at. Now, Christianity is a set religion, so everybody will study Christianity, but there is also the option of a second religion. Now, um, you, you will need to study a second religion, but you can choose whether or not it is Islam or Sikhism. And that will be a discussion for when you uh, start the course. Now, paper two is uh, the thematic studies. And actually, there are a number of modules within the thematic studies. And it starts with relationships and families, uh, moving on to religion and life. Then we look at the existence of God and revelation, moving on to crime and punishment. And then finally, uh, war, uh, peace and conflict to finish the course. And as mentioned, both of those papers are, are covered with in an exam. So you will sit two exams, giving you your, your one qualification at GCSE RS. So to break down paper one a little bit further and give you a bit more information, the content overview of paper one, as I mentioned previously, is the beliefs, teachings and practices of each religion. Um, and you will look at, as I mentioned, two religions, Christianity being one of them and then another religion, either Sikhism or Islam. And just to give you a bit of an overview of the assessment, because obviously this is also an important decision, it is a written paper which requires you to sit for one hour and 45 minutes to, to write short answer questions and you will have some one mark, some two marks, some four mark, five mark and a 12 marker, um, which is your longer essay style question. And actually paper one makes up 50% of your total GCSE and you are graded from a nine to a one. Now you get a hundred marks uh, within the paper and you get 50 marks for Christianity and your questions surrounding that and then you get 50 marks for your second religion and that will either be um, Islam or Sikhism um, as mentioned. 
OK, so now looking at paper two, which is the thematic studies, as previously mentioned, I've put the five themes that are taught up on the screen in front of you. However, it's important to mention that when sitting this paper, which is the same time as paper one, one hour, 45 minutes, you will be given a set of questions for each of the themes. And it is absolutely up to you within that paper to choose which ones you decide to answer because you have to answer four out of the five. Now, it might be that after reading through the questions, you decide that you are most confident in uh, the first four. And let's say you decide that actually the crime and punishment questions are um, probably you're less confident in so you would choose to answer the four that you're most confident in but obviously all of this would be taught to you um, throughout your your two years as to how to go about choosing that question wisely now as mentioned that's 50 percent of your total gcse um, this paper is made up of 108 marks now 96 of those marks will come from answering the questions on the thematic studies so your four topic areas that you choose and 12 marks come from spelling punctuation and grammar and that is three marks for each of your longer answer questions so as with paper one you've got an essay style question for each of your themes so you'll have a one mark uh, multiple choice question to start a two marker a four marker a five marker and then your 12 mark essay style question and it is the 12 marker that you can have um, you get marked extra an extra three marks for e for your spelling punctuation and grammar and that's what makes up the total of 108 marks So some common questions that come up when considering whether or not to choose GCSE RS and ones which we have answered in the past, so I've collated those on one slide for you, is um, the first one, what support can be offered um, when studying GCSE RS? Well, firstly, you will be with highly motivated and knowledgeable, knowledgeable teachers who really love their subject and can often bring this subject to life. You will be um, able to receive one-to-one -one support if needed to help you understand the subject content. There will be catch-up sessions after school, again, if needed, if you're finding things particularly tricky. There will be online learning to support the studies. There will be supportive revision notes as well, uh, readily available resources, again, through our website and regular marking and feedback. The second question is a really important one because this is often something that people have a misconception about. So the question is, what are the course requirements? So actually to study GCSE RS at Coombe Dean, we are just looking for students that are open minded, empathetic and enthusiastic. And you must be willing to learn about religions and cultural topics and a range of different themes. Now, here's where the misconception are. Sometimes people um, have this un a misconception that they think that they need to be religious or from a religious background to study GCSE RS and that is not the case. It is more about gaining a broad understanding of local, national and global issues and topics and how they impact our own and other people's communities. However, if you are somebody who is religious and particularly if you uh, follow Christianity, Islam or Sikhism, you would find that would give you a really good standpoint because you would have a good set of knowledge around the religious beliefs, teachings and practices. So you might find that that is quite beneficial to you, but it absolutely is not a prerequisite. You do not have to be religious in any way, shape or form um, to study this and be very successful at GCSE RS. OK, so that brings me to the end of my presentation. Um, I really hope this has been informative and it's given you the information that you require to be able to make a decision about whether or not GCSE RS is a subject for you to take on at GCSE level. I am really hoping that a number of you consider this and opt for it, definitely, um, and continue your studies within this. 
and, and that is because actually I really feel it is a valuable GCSE, uh, not only for you to be able to um, take, make the most of opportunities that are available to you to gain a qualification, but also because I think that it really does create um, well-rounded young people who are able to contribute to their society around them, but also to make people more tolerant, uh, to build understanding and empathy within um, yourselves as young people and really to make you a, a well-rounded young person that follows the values that we talk about all the time, which is this community integrity and opportunity. So if you have any more questions or anything you would like to find out, please do seek me out either via email as it is on the screen or come and see me in and around the school. I would love to have a conversation with you and to answer many, any more of your questions. Okay, thank you, year nine, for listening.